Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in the car today, which means we are going shopping. I am very, very excited because Ikea released their brand new spring collection and I figured why not go and check it out, film it for you guys, share with you all of the brand new arrivals over at Ikea. And as many of you guys know, I'm a huge Ikea shopper myself. I use their products in a lot of my makeovers, in my DIY project. So I honestly come here quite often just to find items that I can upcycle or DIY into something different and share with you guys. So we are going to be heading into Ikea. I just pulled up right now now, and I'm just excited honestly. I haven't been here in quite a while actually since Christmas time So we're gonna be looking at their spring stuff I am definitely excited for some warmer weather now if you are not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week normally more in-depth videos um, room makeovers DIY projects But today it's just a casual shopping video and I hope that you guys enjoy this one So let's go ahead and head on in but quickly before doing so I do want to mention that today's video is kindly sponsored by simply safe I of course set my Simply Safe before I left this morning. And if you guys do not know about Simply Safe, here's a little rundown on it. It is an incredible home security system that I use all the time. Well, at least when I'm not home. And I mean, I do use it when I'm home too. So here's a little info. A little over a year ago, I installed my Simply Safe system in my apartment. And ever since, we've actually installed one in my parents' house, my aunt's house, and also both of my brother's apartments. It is just an incredible home security system made simpler. All the protection that you need without the hassle, headaches, or expensive costs. And the great thing about Simply Safe is it is shipped directly to your doorstep, and you can easily set up the system in about 30 minutes. It comes with all the sensors that you need to cover every window, room and door, security cameras. They even have a new outdoor HD camera, which is amazing, video doorbell and a ton of great extras like smart locks and water sensors. I personally ended up installing a Simply Safe because I moved out of a larger apartment complex and into a duplex in Los Angeles that was on a main street. So I knew I wanted just a little bit more security. There wasn't that kind of main entrance with a lobby. I literally have my doorstep on the street and I just wanted to make sure I felt secure in my space. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how much does something like this cost? Now the professional monitoring service costs less than a dollar per day, which is far less than any other home security brand. Plus trying Simply Safe is totally totally risk-free. If you don't absolutely love your system, you could send it back within 60 days for a full refund. But on top of these offers, Simply Safe is offering the Lone Fox family an extra 20% off of their security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and you get your first month for free. So you can visit simplysafe.com slash Lone Fox to learn more. The first showroom I ended up walking into was this beautiful living room space with a pale blue wall and a gallery wall on the pale blue wall. And I loved the mixture of wood and white frames. The white frames have a slight detail to them, which gives like this coastal aesthetic, but also a British aesthetic at the same time. I loved those pieces and a couple of vintage kind of revival items I found in here, which is a style I've been loving lately, are these pillowcases, so fun. And then also these lace curtains here. I absolutely love the lace curtain panels. Uh, I think those are a fun additional layer that don't take up too much weight or light and then on top we had some hat boxes styled with some books but across the way was the kitchen space which I loved how they had the kitchen kind of on the side of the living room and all as one space because it really shows you what you can do and so this is the same light blue tone and I think mixed with a very bright white kitchen is a fresh take for spring for sure if that's something that you like I think the light blue and white works perfect in a kitchen space and some of my favorite details were these knobs here and also these light fixtures with the silver and brass. I absolutely love that mixed metal look. And if you are a fan of color, I think this little office space for a child is really cute. I love the use of diamonds. I think checks and diamonds are gonna be really popular this year, so I like the oversized kind of wallpaper look, and the pegboard on the wall is perfect for extra storage. And then right outside of that space, there was this little plant tray with a couple of super cute planters. I've actually never seen these woven planters before, and they had a larger size at the bottom, and then in the middle, were some smaller kind of pots, but they're really cute. Here we have some new seating and I love these for an apartment. If you have a small living room space, these are truly perfect because they have a design style to them, but they're also compact. So that comes in this ivory tone. It also comes in the dark gray and they have three different sizes, including a sectional style and then a smaller love seat. Now this sofa here had a new tag on it, but I believe it might be a little bit of an older product, but I still loved how Ikea kind of created a more linen looking sofa that kind of is more with the times of what people are wanting at the moment at a fraction of the price. Now these chairs here also have that linen look fabric to them. They come in four different finishes and they're oversized, so they could be great end of the table chairs or even accent chairs in your space. 
then came across another showroom space that I just love. I feel like I shared one similar to this as well in an old video, but it was a different shade of green and different styling. This one is just really elevated and intense. I feel like it has this moody vibe to it. It's very not what I think Ikea is. However, Ikea really pulled it off. I love the way that the space looked. All the furniture pieces give this antique look with them being brand new pieces. Uh, then I made my way outside to the consoles and like coffee table area. And I actually have shared this coffee table and side table in the past, but they have a console version now, which if you're into the shape, it's perfect for a small apartment. It's more of a compact design. As I made my way around the new storage, I also noticed this four door kind of console unit. And I think this would be really great if you were to get two or three of them and line a wall. It would give like a retro look. And they also have some new shelving that has a wood framework on the sides and some more like white melamine shelves in there, which I think would be really pretty in like an office space, nice and airy. And it holds a lot of storage, of course. I then turned the corner and saw this showroom space, which had a bright orange focal sofa. And I love how they accented this with a bunch of neutral elements to really make that orange pop and be the showcase of the space. But this table area as well, I was obsessed with these pendant lights. They are so pretty. And in the recent episode of What Would Drew Do, I kind of talked about how round tables are always so expensive, but do not worry because Ikea has a brand new round tulip style table, which is perfect for a dining area or small apartment. But then I saw the perfect circle table. This faux marble one is a fraction of the price of real marble, but gives you that same look. And I actually love the legs. Still in tables and chairs, I saw this new smaller table, but I really wanted to focus on the chair because this chair is $30, you guys, and it has a wood seat and a black like metal base to it, which I think is pretty substantial. And then this red plastic chair, I feel like just has this retro element to it. And if you love red, it's a perfect accent color. It's brand new at Ikea. And last but not least, I loved how they utilize these towel rails as like little plate holders on top of this bookshelf. It was just such a genius idea. This table here has a really Scandinavian feel to it, and I love the white top with the wood legs. I like that contrast, the rounded corners are really nice, and I feel like it's perfect for like an oversized office table. And another interesting desk that Ikea got was actually this one here. They call it a desk with storage ladder or a table with storage ladder. I'm not too sure what you can do with a storage ladder element, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. Maybe it will spark some interest to one of you out there, but it is pretty interesting, I will say. And look at this, you guys. Ikea now has a bar cart. It's a brass bar cart. It's really authentic looking. Now, I will say the price is $149, which I feel like is similar to what Target would charge, but overall, it's still really cute. I was obsessed with this bathroom space when I walked in because it had so much character and you would never believe everything in here is available at Ikea. It shows that you can really use new items and still create a very kind of timeless and bathroom that's full of character. And as I walked out of the space, there was some new storage I saw and it looked to be all of this darker wood tone, which is really nice because they do have some dark wood furniture, but it's almost black, whereas this still has that kind of brown hint to it. So if you are going for a darker wood, this is a perfect storage option. They're brand new and they have like nightstands and a bunch of other pieces from that same area. And this little hutch here was also super interesting. I loved the sliding doors, has a kind of vintage vibe to it as well. And I feel like it's that perfect piece for the blank wall in your home that just needs something. After checking out all of the showroom areas, I made my way downstairs to the marketplace, which is all of the more decor, kind of kitchen, bathroom finds. And one of the first items I came across was this new utensil holder, which is pretty simple, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. Pretty cute. And it has a little base plate as well. And I also noticed that they have some new cleaning supplies. These dish sponges with a handle and without a handle are also new. So they have this one here and then they also have the smaller one as well. Some new kind of accent dishware that they have are these sets here. So they have these smaller bowls and they have like smaller kind of salad or dessert plates as well. And these actually come in four different colors. There's a different pattern like this one, but this is the blue shade here. These little bowls here I thought would be super cute for cooking or for sauces. They come in three different colors and they have different textures on the surface. And then I also came across a new dinnerware set that they came out with, which is like this indigo blue with this really warm brown edging to it. I actually think it's so pretty. So if you need some new dinnerware, maybe try this one. 
Now, if there is one thing from this video I would say go out and get, it is this set of vases here and the glasses I'm gonna share next. These are fluted, they come in a set of two, and I think that they are so, so cute. They are part of this collection called Ann Ledning, which I'm not sure if is newer or is older, but I've never seen it at my Ikea before. is this not the most perfect coupe cocktail glass you've ever seen? It is so pretty and it has this like peachy kind of brownish undertone to the glass. And then I saw this cake plate, which was just a normal cake plate at first, but then I realized it had a scalloped edge and it also had this floral print in the glass. So freaking cute and it's $15. Making our way over to bedding. Believe it or not, there actually wasn't too much new bedding or throw pillows available. There was this kind of linen look bedding, which I thought was pretty. It had a tan tone to it. And for only $34.99, I thought you couldn't go wrong with that. But then I saw this one, a little bit more spring vibes. Now I personally wouldn't go for this pattern, but if you like more of a quirky look, I feel like this is a cute pattern to kind of mesh with that style. And this striped one was also super simple. A new one, it has a flannel finish to it. So if you live in a colder climate, this could be a great option for you. These storage boxes have a cute pattern to them and a yellow tone for the smaller one and a tan tone for the larger one. And then I also picked up this wicker laundry basket. It's actually one of the main reasons I went because I saw that they came out with it. I loved it. It's perfect because it fits right to the left of my bathroom vanity. I have just like this dead space there and this hamper fits perfectly right there. Over in the frames, I noticed this smaller brass frame, which again, I'm not sure if it's newer or older, but I hadn't seen it before. And when I brought it home, I found out that there was actually a mat on the inside of it. So I added this little artwork piece and it totally looks like one you'd find at a thrift store. There's also a new finish of their classic picture lead shelf, which is this kind of weathered white look, which is great for like a country or farmhouse aesthetic. And the last few items I came across were first this little gold mirror here, which I think would be a cute accent mirror in a gallery wall or any area that you need a smaller sized mirror. I feel like it has like a crest look to it, which again, it kind of draws in that vintage vibe. And lastly, these round glass vases were also really pretty. They come in a larger green tone and then a smaller black one. And I ended up picking up the larger green one just because I'm always grabbing anything green I could find decor wise. And I just, I love this vase. I just got home from Ikea and the sun is setting. So I ran outside quickly because I forgot to film an intro per usual or an outro actually. But I hope that you guys liked today's video. Those were all of the new arrivals for spring over at Ikea. Now to be completely honest with you guys, I am not one that decorates too much for spring. I definitely do add a few bits here and there. So I think it's nice to pick up an affordable option, you know, like one of the cake plates maybe or some of the fluted glassware uh, or even something a little bit more spring vibes like the bedding. But overall, I just love sharing with you guys a new product products, checking it out. I think I spent about four hours in there today, but when I go, of course, I am filming at the same time, so it takes me a little bit longer than the average person to walk through, but I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to also check out today's video sponsor, Simply Safe. I have mine in my current apartment inside. I'm gonna have to turn it off when I get in, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, everybody.